friends, we are going to make a Mother's Day present today. So you might want to go get Dad and say, shh, I need your help to make this craft for Mom. And then go do it in a separate room where Mom can't see until you're ready to surprise her with it. Now, the supplies you're going to need look like this. You're going to need a blue paper, the pink base, and all of these flowers. So when you have all of these supplies and your glue and a marker to write with or a pen to write with, you'll be ready to get started, okay? So let's do it. First things first, take the paper clip off. And now let's see our supplies. We have the blue paper, the pink base, and some flower petals, okay? So we are going to glue the blue base onto the paper just like that. All right, so let's do that first. Open up your glue stick. So it's just a little bit of glue so we don't break it. And then put some glue on the back of your vase. Okay. You want enough that the vase is going to stay glued on the paper. So you'll need more than just a little circle. But you also don't need to glue and glue and glue and glue and glue and glue and glue for a really long time. This is just enough. Okay, and then put it on your paper. So it looks like that. Okay, now you're going to want to get a marker and we're going to write on the vase, I love mom because. And this is where a dad could help you or a brother or a sister. They can help you write it. So it's going to say, I love mom because. There we go. You can read it with me. I love mom because. And if you have a little bit of room on your vase, you could decorate the vase. You could put some hearts. You put like a little squiggly line decoration. If you have some pretty vases at your house, you might have seen them with some decorations on them before. Yeah. Whatever you think. Okay. Now, the next thing we're going to need to do is glue on these flower petals. And on each flower petal, you're going to put a reason why you love mom. So there's going to be one, two, three, four. Now I know we have more reasons than that of why we love mom, but that's how many will fit on the paper. So you can tell her these four, and then if you have a bigger list, well you can just tell mom all the reasons why you love her. Moms are so special and so important. So let's glue these petals on. Okay, I'm just going to flip them over and put a circle of glue on the back. Ta-da! And turn the next one over and put a circle of glue on the back. And stick that on. Turn the next one over, put a circle of glue on the back. And stick that on. Turn the next one over, put some glue on the back. And stick that on. Then I'm going to get out a green marker and I'm going to make some stems that are going to go down into the vase so that it looks like the flowers are all inside the vase. So you can color some stems on yours. You can put some leaves on them too if you want, however you want to decorate them. So they look like real flowers sticking out of this vase for mom. And I love mom vase. That's a good kind of vase. We love mom. See that? Okay. So now you need to go think of four reasons why you love mom and write one on each petal so that it will say, I love mom because, you could say, she gives me great hugs. 
I love mom because she cooks a really good dinner. I love mom because she reads stories with me. I love mom because she's so fun to play with. You decide what are the reasons why you love mom so much and have dad or a brother or a sister help you write them. And then on Mother's Day, you can go up to mom and you can say, Mom, I have a surprise for you. I love you. Happy Mother's Day. Ta-da! And give her your art. She will love it. All right, so you go work on it. Shh, it's a surprise. Give it to her on Mother's Day.